Welcome to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, and it's also the city of incredible food. We're here for the next few days with Visit Philadelphia to make some pasta and tour through some of the most underrated spots here in Philadelphia. That is right, we are in Philadelphia. We just got to Fishtown, the neighborhood of Fishtown here in Philly. I don't know what part of Philly, north, south, east, west, but we're in Fishtown. We're staying at the Hotel Anna and Belle, newly opened. I think it literally just opened this week, so we're one, of the, we're one of the first guests to be staying here. We're gonna go inside, get ready, and then head out for lunch. Super excited for that, because I am starving. It was an early morning. We left Pittsburgh at like, I think 8 a.m., so I was up at like 5 a.m. So I'm super hungry for lunch. Let's go inside, unpack, and head to lunch. First stop, we made it to Honeysuckle Provisions here in West Philly. It's this cool little like cafe slash grocery store type thing. They've got like some grab and go stuff, pastries, coffee, and then some sandwiches. I wasn't sure what I was gonna get, but I asked the guy at the register and they said the chicken biscuit was the way to go. And uh, this looks, looks money so it's a fried chicken thigh on what feels like an incredibly buttery flaky biscuit uh, I think they said some spicy mayo on there and then I don't know if you can see that there there's like some hot Cheeto dust in the mayo or on the chicken looks crazy good let's give it a try mm. yeah this sandwich is any indication of how this trip is gonna go. It's gonna be a really good couple days. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not someone that usually likes a ton of spice in my food. Like, I'm not a little wimp, I can handle some spice. This is like the perfect amount. Um, chicken's fire. The biscuit is truly one of the best I've ever had. This just hits it out of the park. So I'm gonna enjoy this, show you guys around here a little bit, show you what else they have to offer, and then we'll head over to Chinatown. made it to Philadelphia's Chinatown. We're just kind of walking down. I think this is 10th Street. But we're gonna take a walk down, kind of see what, there's this cool little produce shop up here we'll probably take a, take a peek into. You know, you can always find, of, find some different cool things. I don't know if Josh, the man behind the camera knows what these are. Josh, do you know what these are? Negative. So I hope I'm right because this sign is not in English. Uh, I'm assuming that's Chinese but I'm pretty sure these are kumquats. Very, very tasty. We get you a bag, Josh. So I feel like these Asian markets, you can like low key find some of the like best produce, definitely. I don't know why. They just always have some incredible produce. Um, usually you can find really good eggs here, but you can't find happy eggs. Shout out to happy eggs. And then you can also find some like, kind of just like different exotic things. We've got some hearts here. I love me some heart. Some heart tartare is fantastic. Those are big hearts. Those are big hearts, baby. From what? Uh, that looks like it's uh, a beef, like a cow beef heart. We got some tongues here, delicious tongues. Uh, I think these are kidneys or livers. Uh, I got some chicken feet, some dried shrimp. Dry. I like dried scallops. Those are pretty good. And then you got hot dogs, guys. If you need hot dogs. We got them good to go right there. This is a giant, giant melon. I'm telling you, you can find really good prices on meats here. You ever had tripe, Josh? No. Fantastic. He's gotta really wash it. Really, really wash it. These types of sausages, I don't really know much about them, but these like Chinese sausages are very, very tasty. Hey, you want some chicken hearts? We got them. I actually, I don't think I've ever had chicken hearts, but I feel like they'd be really good fried or maybe in some pasta. Just saying. Eggs, they look good. 
but we want happy eggs. Whoa, check these guys out. So guys, these are, okay, so these are cooked salted duck yolks. They're cooked, uh, they're cooked and then salted to preserve them, I'm assuming. It says they bake them. Uh, this is really interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. What do we got here? Are these shrimp? Oh, dried oysters. Interesting. Whole pound of duck tongues. Look how tiny they are. Very interesting. Oh, these are really cool. Check these out. So these are called black silky chickens. So like the skin is black, the flesh is black. I, back when I was still working in restaurants, I did a pop-up dinner one time, and this was the, the protein for the main dish. Kind of interesting. It really just tastes like chicken, but uh, definitely different. All right, so that was Chinatown. Super fun. Uh, honestly, if we didn't have dinner plans tonight, we probably would have eaten there. There was just a ton of restaurants that looked really good. Just got back to the hotel. Going to go inside, just chill for a little bit, and then uh, we'll take you guys to dinner. We have a really fun, uh, I think it's Ethiopian dinner tonight planned. Uh, should be really tasty. We'll see you then. All right, we rested up, uh, and now we're at dinner number one. Uh, this is a restaurant called Abyssinia. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's an Ethiopian restaurant here in like, I think we're in like West Philly area. Uh, it smells incredible. And this is one of those types of restaurants that I don't think, like just walking down the street, it's not one that, you know, like sticks out by any means. Like it's not one that you would necessarily like always be thinking of. But just so far based on what I'm looking at and what I'm smelling, this is one of those ones that you cannot pass it up. Like this is gonna be an under the radar spot that I think what I'm about to taste is gonna be delicious. So we have the meat combo platter right here. She just explained it to me. We have some chickpeas, collard greens, uh, braised chicken, braised lamb, braised beef. Looks incredible, smells incredible. Uh, this here is like a, um, pancake flatbread that we can use to kind of get everything together. And then we also have some samosas here. Those look great. Uh, we're about to dig into this and I'll let you know how it is. All right, let's give this samosa a try. I forget what's in here. I think just a bunch of vegetables. Yeah. It's like super fresh. Veggies are good. Ooh, there's a little bit of spice to it. Pretty good but it's also very spiced, not spi it's a little spicy, but also spiced, um, really, really good. All right, samosas, we crushed them. So again, this is, I forget the name of this, but it's like a pancake flatbread. Honestly, it feels kind of like just a more structured crepe. You got some of the chickpeas, let's grab some of that beef. Mm. Yeah, that's money. Mm. I don't think in my whole life, I don't know, I'm trying to think if I've ever had Ethiopian food. I feel like I had to have at some point. Um, but if I have, it wasn't as good as this. And I'm not just saying that, truly. This is very, very good. Um, the flavors are on point. It's just, it's very uh, flavor forward. Like it just, it kind of hits you. It's really, really good. We're about to crush this whole plate. Uh, we'll talk to you when we're done. All right, we just wrapped up dinner uh, here at Abyssinia. Again, I hope I'm saying that right. It was incredible. We're very, very full. Uh, might go, go find a local ice cream shop to grab a little uh, sweet treat because I'm craving it. Uh, and then we're hitting bed and getting right back to it tomorrow morning. The next thing you're gonna see is waking up in beautiful Philadelphia and going to get breakfast. See you in the morning. All right, so it is day two. I promise we're gonna get to the pasta making, but that's coming tomorrow. But until then, we still have a lot more food to eat. We're starting off day two uh, this morning at Pafudo. It's a I don't really know what's inside. Uh, Visit Philly recommended this spot. Uh, it says Italian pastry, so that's gonna be fantastic. I hope they have coffee. Uh, let's get in there and check it out and see, see how it is. This is 
would be like the perfect, like if I ever opened up something, this is what it would be. Uh. All right, so we're at Pafudo. Uh, they just brought out a whole assortment of pastries. They're all brioche-based uh, leaven doughs. Uh, this one has some apple in it. This is a chocolate one. I think you said this one's a maple something and then a chocolate brioche donut. Then these are their two panzerotis, which he said that that was like the must get. So one of them is an egg panzerotti. The other one is a pepperoni. Oh boy. You can just hear how crispy that is. Bro, that is money. Yeah, that's insane. I could eat that every single day. It's like the best version of a Hot Pocket you could ever have. All right, so I thought that we were just getting the pastries and the panzerotis. The chefs just brought out uh, mortadella and egg sandwich, chicken cutlet, a little salad, some tater tots. Uh, I told them to like, we're here, we're eating a lot of food and they're gonna make this very difficult because I know we have a great lunch plan today, but they're gonna make us not wanna eat the rest of the trip. So let's try the mortadella. I love mortadella, oh my God. You guys see that? That's how your eggs should look. That is perfection. Oh man, need a napkin for that. Yep, unreal. Little tater top. We're gonna dig into all this. I'll, uh, I'll give you a full recap at the end. Might come back in a second here to give you an update on things, but uh, for now, we're gonna enjoy this. So I was just telling Josh here that I think so far, now we're only a couple of restaurants into this like food tour, but the theme has been for someone that's from out of town, a tourist visiting the city. The theme of all of these restaurants has been, these are all spots that are kind of unassuming, like you wouldn't necessarily, at least as an out of towner, like think to go here. But now that we're here, like even just walking down the street, like it's not like a big flashy sign or anything like that. Um, but I guarantee next time I come to Philly, this, all of these spots so far, are like must hit spots. Like this food is incredible. Uh, these tater tots, unreal. I'm about to dive into the chicken cutlet. Like I said though, I don't know how we're gonna be able to eat lunch. Like I just tried the donut, it's phenomenal. I'm about to try that pastry, whatever that is next, but uh, it's unreal. You gotta get here. So we just wrapped up breakfast at Pafudo. Like I said in the video, this was uh, outstanding. Uh, really, really good. Josh and I both said that this was uh, totally blew us away. Not that we expected it to be bad, but uh, we just, we had no expectations at all and it exceeded them tremendously. We even had to like pack up a bunch to go because the chefs really hooked us up. So we didn't want to waste it. We'll take it back to the hotel and eat it later tonight. Uh, but for now, we're going to go try to burn off some of these calories, walk around the Italian markets before we head to lunch at Angelo's, which I'm very, very excited about. That's really cheap. A Katara. This is nice. I might get this. I don't know if it would fit in my... I could use it as a carry-on though, right? Guys. I think they knew I was coming. I feel like I should have this. Like this should be something that I own. But it's not. Oh wait, this I should have. Look at this, guys. It's a little thing to rest your spoon on. If it's less than $5, I'll buy it. It's $9.99. I'm gonna buy it. All right, so we just took a walk through the Italian markets on our way to Angelo's right here. Angelo's is, from what I hear, best cheesesteak, some of the best pizza, not only in Philadelphia, but in the country. So I'm gonna go order a, a pizza and a cheesesteak uh, we'll hang out here in this little park here, wait for it to be ready, and then we'll give it a try. All right, we got the goods. Let's go give it a try. Angelo's uh, looks incredible. I just went with the with the straight up cheese pizza, little basil, 
Um, let's give it a try here. I mean, look at that. You just, this is beautiful. Mm. I mean, that's just everything you want in a pizza, baby. Um, I'm gonna try a couple more bites of this, but then uh, it's time for the cheesesteak. What's your guys' favorite type of pizza too, like style? Look, there's New York style, Neapolitan, Detroit. I feel like, I think this is, would be considered like a variation of New York, I think. I don't really know. I'm not the pizza guy, I'm the pasta guy. But what I do know is what I like, and I like this very, very much. We couldn't, we couldn't come to Philly on this little tour, pasta making adventure, and not have a proper Philly cheesesteak. And I feel like this is the way to do it. Angelo's Pizzeria, South Philly. I think we're in South Philly, might be wrong, don't quote me on that. So we've got just their classic Philly cheesesteak. I mean, look at that thing. Some sauteed onions in there, Cooper Sharp. I mean, look at the roll. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it here. Might make a mess. I'll clean it up, don't you worry. Yeah, I mean, man, that's good. This is, uh, I'm claiming it. I know a lot of people claim it, but I'm gonna claim it too. Best cheesesteak in Philly. You gotta try this. All right, so our next stop of the day, we're at the Philadelphia Magical Gardens. It's this like urban, uh, giant like art installation type thing that's made using just like a bunch of recycled materials, bottles, bicycle wheels, um, plates, everything. So I'm gonna take you guys through uh, and I'm just gonna let the art kind of speak for itself and I'll see you at the end. And just like that, from the Magic Gardens, we went back to the hotel, swam in the pool for a little bit. It was fantastic. Just relax, and now we're at Bach Bar. This is a seasonal, I believe, uh, rooftop bar here in South Philly. It's like on slash in a former high school that's been turned into, I think, like a co-working space. Really, really cool, very uh, unique. Uh, and we're up here on the rooftop, just kind of enjoying the views, having a couple cocktails before dinner at Bastia tonight. Uh, really, really excited for that, but for now, uh, I'm gonna crush this. It's like a gin watermelon cocktail, and if you know me, you know I love gin. So, cheers to that, and I'll see you guys at dinner. All right, we just finished up happy hour drinks at Bach Bar. Now we're heading this is great, this is convenient. We're back at our hotel uh, to have dinner at Bastia. Very, very excited for this meal. And uh, despite all the food we've had today, I'm very hungry, so let's go eat. Hey, how are you? Tyler. Brian, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Menu looks great. It all looks so good. The veal is like super classic. Yeah. It's a good dish. Yep. Uh, the sous beast on the chicken is awesome. Okay. The chicken. Cool. Like, the whole fish is super yep. great. Cool. Uh, skate cheeks are great. The skate cheeks are really cool because they're like they're bottom feeders, so yeah. a lot of their diet is crab. Mm. So for people who can't eat crustaceans, it's like it's closer to eating crab meat than imitation crab. Sure. Like it really does taste like it all the all the flavor concentrates in the cheek. Yeah. Like a pig or anything else. Yeah. It's like, it, it really does taste on like, like, like one crab. Interesting. Cool. cool. So Josh just said that he's medium hungry and that's going to be a problem. Uh, well, now he's changing it, but you guys are about to see, I'm going to order, I'm not going to order that much food, but it's going to be a lot for two people. But uh, we haven't eaten since Angelo's. That was at noon. It's now seven. Uh, so let's get the food rolling. 
Because I, in my head, I want to get the melon, the artichokes, the kampachi, the gnocchi, the strozo prete, the asabuco, and the chicken. But that's too much. Is this too much? The melon, the artichokes, the kampachi, uh, both the pastas, the gnocchi sardi, and the strozo prete, and then the chicken. Yeah. Is that too much? If you're hungry, both of you are eaters. We're hungry. I think it's fine. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do that. So first up we have the shaved artichokes with celery, sunchoke, and parmesan cheese. That looks fantastic. And then a little bread service. Looks like some focaccia, some semolina, some sort of cracker. Uh, excited for the artichoke though. I love artichokes and I love sunchokes too. We're about to be full very, very fast, but I can't wait. Amazing. Thank you so much. Look at that. Beautiful, work of art. That looks crazy. Then we also have the Kampachi Crudo, which I love Kampachi Crudos, uh, with some sea bean, finger limes, and a little vinaigrette. Looks fantastic. I don't think I've ever had a favorite artichoke salad, uh, but I love artichokes. Fun fact, uh, most of you probably don't know, the first tattoo, and I have many, many tattoos now, the first tattoo I ever got was an artichoke, and I still have yet to finish the artichoke. So I love artichokes. It's amazing. Thank you so much. So, I think I've determined that we're gonna need a bigger table because the food keeps coming and we can only eat fast enough. So this is the summer melon with a little bit of copa kind of wrapped around that. Uh, I love melon with prosciutto usually and this one here with the copa looks fantastic. I, I'm gonna crush this whole damn plate to be honest. Josh, you're not getting any of this. This is all for me. Let me try this. Go for it. Pretty good. About maybe like a third of the way through. Uh, drinks are fantastic. The wine's incredible. The food is amazing. Uh, this is going to be a solid wrap up to night number two. But uh, don't worry, we're not end of, the, end of the day yet. I'll show you the rest of what we get. I'm sure we're going to get some dessert too. We still got pastas to come, we still got chicken to come. Uh, but we're getting there, we're chipping away at it. Boy, oh boy so crushing us. Beets. Thank you. Oh, I love beets. Yeah, these are wonderful. These are some salt baked beets over ricotta cheese, mm. some ricotta almonds, cranberry chili, and just a little bit of fresh dill. Amazing. Thank you. Beets. Oh. <laughs> All right, so the pasta courses have come. Uh, they sent out an extra one as well. First, we have the Gnocchi sardi with, it looks like some braised lamb, pistachio, and mint. That is just doing everything for me. I can't wait for that one. Then we have, on special tonight, maybe they're trying out to make the menu, a spazulis pasta with calamari, saffron, orange, and pine nuts. Smells fantastic, can't wait for that. And finally, some stroza prete ricotta dumplings with guanciale and arbiata sauce. Holy shit. This stuff looks fire. We still have the chicken yet to go, but uh, we're gonna dig into some pasta and have ourselves a night. Okay, so final savory dishes of the evening. We have a half a chicken. Uh, looks like it's roasted with some spring onion soubise and summer squash. Very excited for that. I always love a very good roast chicken. Uh, and then a gift from the kitchen. We have a whole grilled arata fish, uh, and that's with a sorrel pesto and a little olive tapenade, a little grilled orange. We'll kind of squeeze this over top. And uh, yeah, we got some food to eat. I'm already a little full, but can't stop now. Okay, so in case you were wondering, which I know you are, chicken is fantastic. That spring onion sous vide is insane. And I just tried a piece of the fish. If you didn't know this about me, I love olives. Uh, 
it's actually my favorite pizza topping, like black olives or any type of olive. Uh, this is fantastic. It's just covered with an olive tapenade. Grilled orange is fire. You already know from earlier, I love artichokes. So uh, we didn't order this, but I'm glad they sent it out. It's very, very good. All right, we're gonna finish it off strong with some dessert. Of course, I got a little bit of Amaro, but then we have chocolate ganache with olive oil, hazelnut, orange, some little almond cookies, and then the peach split, strawberry, vanilla, and dark chocolate gelato, some peach jam, pistachios, chantilly cream. This is, uh, this is gonna be tough to finish, but if anybody can do it, we can do it. So cheers to an excellent dinner. And uh, we're gonna call it a night after this. All right, it's uh, day three, our final day here in Philadelphia. Slight change of plans. We were gonna wake up early and do a little pasta making with one of the local chefs here this morning, but we switched things up. We're gonna grab coffee and breakfast first. So we're here at Cafe Roasters. Uh, I think we're in like North Philly. Really cool, you can kind of see like they've got the whole uh, roasters and everything here behind me. Uh, we just talked to one of the owners too. She kind of gave us the rundown, uh, kind of chatting about what they do here, what kind of sets them apart, um, and just their their method for their madness here. Um, really, really cool spot. Uh, and they are about to crush us with food and drinks. We got a couple of coffees coming, uh, I think some teas, uh, and then a bunch of food. Uh, you saw the meal that we had last night. It was, that was a lot of food. Uh, so hopefully we can stuff some more in uh, because I have a feeling this food's gonna be great. Very excited for it. Um, so let's dig in. Okay. 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 So we have a tea here, and then this is the um, brulee coffee, and then these ones here are. This is the one that two really recommended. One of their specials right now. It's kind of like their take on a pumpkin spice latte, uh, but their own like pumpkin puree they do in house. Looks incredible. Uh, let's give it a taste. Oh, wow, not gonna lie, I'm not usually like the typical like pumpkin spice latte kind of guy, but that is very, very good. I am a huge fan of Vietnamese coffee though, uh, and this is fantastic. I'm ready for some food now though. Thank you. Whoa, thank you so much. It came special. Okay. So it's all the. We've got the food, this is what we've got. Uh, the tamarind fries right here. These are the True Tams fries. They're like a crawfish oil inspired fry. We've got the J Street sandwich. Uh, it's like an egg sandwich, but they also put fried chicken on there too. Uh, this one here is the Kang special banh mi. So it's banh mi with fried chicken, and I think they put some like fried eggs on there too. That's gonna be crazy. And then this one here is the Works banh mi. Basically a banh mi just like totally loaded all the way. Uh, this stuff looked crazy. So these are the crawfish inspired fries. Crawfish boil inspired fries. Bunch of seasoning. Looks like some andouille sausage, some beans. I don't know what the sauce is. Let's see what the sauce is. Uh, ooh, a cream corn sauce. That sounds tasty. Mm. Yeah, that'll do. We're slowing down, and I feel like we haven't even made a dent. But we are gonna take this all to go. I think we're gonna eat it for lunch later today, um, which will be fantastic. So we're gonna get wrapped up here, and then we're going to head downtown uh, to a restaurant to meet up with one of the chefs here in town to make a batch of pasta and see what him and his team can do with it. And uh, it should be a fun way to, to wrap up this awesome, awesome trip. So it's time to make some pasta. This is the part of the trip that obviously the food was great, but this is the part I'm most looking forward to. It's like, I'm doing what I love. So we're here at Vita, which I'm gonna take you guys inside. It might not be what you expect. Let's come on inside. 
When you first walk in here, it looks like a very small, tiny little gelato shop. But if you follow me, what looks like just a refrigerator kind of leads us into a little hidden speakeasy Italian restaurant. So they basically built an Italian speakeasy restaurant in the back of their gelato shop. We're gonna head down in the kitchen now, make a batch of pasta, and then hand it off to the team here to, uh, to see what they prepare with it. So just a nice small little batch, four dozen egg yolks today. I'm gonna get this together here real fast and then pass this along to Chef to see what he prepared. Obviously, you saw what we ate for breakfast. I'm already stuffed, but uh, I've always got some room to eat some more pasta, so can't wait to see what they do with it. All right, so the batch of dough is done. Came out great, color looks great. Uh, we're gonna pass this along to Chef here. Chef, uh, it's in your hands now. Uh, I can't wait to see what yeah. you guys do with it. Uh, yeah. I'm excited, you know, I think, I can already smell the, the smells in this kitchen. Yeah, it's What you guys make... are doing here, so. Let's see what you guys can do. Yeah, I was gonna make some capelletti. Capelletti. Capelletti di suca, yeah. Sounds amazing. Uh, it's a perfect fall pasta dish. It exactly. kind of looks like pumpkin too, you know. Exactly. Color, yeah. so. Exactly. All right, we'll let I'll let you get to work, and then uh, I'll see you when we're done. Let's do it. working for you right now is a uh, sage hazelnut butter sauce uh, with some parmesan broth. Something that we're kind of R&D testing out, seeing if it makes sense for the full menu. Um, of course, with some capoletti that are beautifully shaped to kind of hold that sauce. Dill to butter on the broth. Some uh, toasted sage and dill to garnish as well. We're done. Chef, I made the dough and then I handed it off to Chef and they prepared say, some capoletti, which is honestly like, it's a fantastic filled shape. So it's capoletti with a butternut squash mascarpone filling. 
uh, which is crazy. You probably saw when he was making them that the color of the dough with the eggs that we used almost matched perfectly with the filling. It was incredible. Uh, and this is just like the perfect fall dish. So you've got the butternut squash mascarpone filling. Uh, they did like a brown butter Parmesan stock sauce. It's gonna be fantastic. Some roasted hazelnuts, some crispy sage. I mean, we're getting right into fall and this is, this is the dish to eat right now. So I'm gonna enjoy this. That wraps up the video. This was an incredible time. Thanks to Visit Philly for having us out here. We ate a lot of food and it only feels right to end it by eating some pasta. Um, we did have some pasta on this trip, but we had to wrap it up with pasta. So let's give this a try. Mm. Yep, that's, uh, it's definitely not bad. It's, uh, that's fantastic. That's, nothing beats fresh pasta. And I think sometimes I get numb to it because I make it so often, but I don't eat it that often anymore. Like the pasta that I make, just give it away or cook it for family and friends, whatever. But I don't, usually I just don't want to eat pasta. But this was nice because I got to make the dough and then I didn't have to actually make the pasta. So I'm a little bit removed from it. So I get to enjoy a nice big plate of pasta for once. Mm. This was fantastic. Make sure you guys check out Vita here in Rittenhouse Square. Uh, I'll be back here for sure next time.